Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com and I am here today to talk to you about monitors. That's right, monitors. Because I have gotten questions about monitors. I've done a book review, or not a book review, I've done a hardware review on the monitor I'm currently using, which you can check out here. It's an ultra-wide LG monitor that has a slight curve to it which I love, but I'm gonna talk about monitors in general here. I got this question I've been waiting for the right opportunity to answer, and today is the day. <laughs> so for those of you that have been wanting me to talk about monitors and what I think about monitors, here you go. So I got this question. It says, uh, hi again, John. Your videos have taken up a lot of my time since I discovered your channel just yesterday. <laughs> That's what I like to do. If you're just discovering my channel, you'll see that I link to a lot of videos. And when I do that, you get sucked into the John world, to the, to the simple programmer world, and you're watching all my videos and you're like, what the heck just happened to me? That's all part of the plan. All right, so you may want to ask your viewers about the ways they have made their workstations more productive. Sounds like a good question. Maybe I'll do that. I bought two monitor stands last year, and now I have a lot more free space right in front of me where it's important. That's interesting. Uh, I got used to them in one day. Also, I know someone that uses three monitors. Is two enough? I see you have a single very wide monitor. Just a couple of ideas for you. So let's talk about this. Monitors, you know, monitor stand, that's interesting. I didn't really, I don't think I've really discussed this. I guess I should be shooting this one on my phone so that I could actually show you my setup here, but I think we can just talk about this in, in terms of words here. So I've never really used monitor stands. What I, <coughs> excuse me, typically use is a monitor arm. And so I've got like the swivel monitor arm. I think the monitor stands, in fact, let me see what was specifically being referenced here in this Amazon link. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. So it's one of those monitor stands where it, it sort of raises up the monitor and there's some room underneath it, which makes a lot of sense actually. I wonder if that would be, be, be pretty nice. But what I've got set up is, I usually don't like the stands that come with the monitor because they do take up a lot of space. So I usually get a, an arm, a swivel stand. So I've got this swivel stand. Maybe we can put a link. It's, it's just the Amazon Basics single swivel stand monitor, like monitor arm. And it basically like allows you to you know, twist the monitor. You know, it's got, it clamps to your desk. And then, and I found that to be the most useful because you can move it around very easily and it takes up minimal space. Although probably a monitor stand would give you the space underneath the monitor. I, I don't know, I think the swivel arm is best. So that's, that's what I recommend. Uh, as far as monitors, number of monitors, I, oh gosh, I have been up and down the block as far as number of monitors. So I started out back in the day with the, with the dual monitor. I remember buying these, well, my first upgrade for monitor was to go from a CRT to an LED, uh, an LCD. I remember getting these 17 inch ViewSonic LED monitors and they were thick, it was only 17 inches. The resolution might, it must have been uh, what, 1024 or whatever you know it was by 768. And I thought that was just the, I thought it was just the bomb, right? So I started there, I ended up getting, you know, dual of those 17 inch monitors and thought that was so awesome. And then, let's see, where did I go from there? I mean, even before then, right, I had done the upgrade <coughs> of the CRT monitor where I went to the, uh, to the higher end CRT, the big, fat, huge CRTs that were high resolution CRTs, right? I sort of downgraded resolution when I went to the LCD. Uh, the, the dual monitor, okay, so dual monitor set up with the 17s. Dual monitor I found extremely productive. I, I found that to be probably the biggest boost in productivity that I had experienced as far as monitors go. Now, since that point, I think <clears throat> my next upgrade was to get a widescreen Dell 24 inch monitor. With these, uh, these very popular ones for, for a long time, it was, like a, it was originally like a $700 monitor or something like that, and it went down. <clears throat> but it's these you know, ultra wide, or not ultra wide, they were just Dell 24 inch. Uh, I think they were, what were they? They were, 
uh, HD resolution, I think it was what it was. Maybe it was a little bit more than HD. So that was pretty awesome. I had turned one sideways, I had tried that with a dual monitor, and then I got dual of the 24 inch Dells, and that was pretty awesome. But the only problem with that was that I did find that the edges of the screen were too far out, and so I didn't really use them. And then there's that in the middle, like if you, if you position the, the dual monitors, you got that place where the two monitors meet, and that's right in, your, in the prime spot of your vision, right? <clears throat> so I upgraded from there. At one point, uh, I started adding monitors. I got this desktop where I had a, a couple of video cards in there, and they supported a couple of monitors each. At the height of it, <clears throat> I had, I believe, six monitors hooked up to one computer, and four of them were like those Dell 24 inches, and then I had... Uh, a couple of other kind of generic about the same size monitors and I had basically I, I bought this monitor stand that held four monitors okay and I had a grid of four monitors and then I ended up adding like two, a monitor to the side of me and one behind me and one was like to have my email on there and one was like to have status updates and I used the four monitors when I was programming and that was sort of cool, but it, it, to be honest, the two upper monitors I found I didn't really use. I found I was really just kind of using the dual monitor, and sometimes I'd glance to the back monitor, but it, it really wasn't that useful, and there was tons of wires. It was a big pain in the ass, really, to, to, to be honest with you. It was kind of cool sometimes, but it was too much. It was too much information. So. This is if, if this is an interesting story, I think you know. But anyway, some of you are like, "What the hell are you gonna talk about? Have a story about mon about your monitor progression?" Yes, I am. I told you we're at, at the beginning of this video. What did I say? I said we're here to talk about monitors. That's what we're gonna do. So you, you can probably see where my recommendation is gonna go. I'll tell you that after I finish the story. So anyway, I think the next upgrade for me was to go to. Uh, I believe I went to one 4K monitor, this big, I did a, I didn't do a video review, but I did a review on my blog of the Seiki, uh, was it like a 54 inch, or maybe, might have been the smaller version of that. Anyway, it was this 4K monitor that was like this super cheap, it was like 400 bucks, and I basically got rid of my four monitors and went down to this one 4K display. And that was pretty badass when I first got it, right? That's a lot of screen real estate. It was just like crazy. It was like four 1080s, right, if you think about it. And so I divide the screen up and it'd be like four monitors except no split down the middle, but each one of them is only 1080. And this thing was pretty big. So I, I ended up, that was kind of cool. You know, it was, it was really a TV. So it, 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 it was, the color wasn't very good and it had refresh problems. So what did I do? I went and bought another one of them. <laughs> so I had two 4K displays at one point, dual screen 4K, if you can imagine that. And that took up a lot of room on my desk. And what I found was I basically utilized the middle portion of both monitors. I basically split them in half and that middle portion was what I used and the outer edges I never really used and it was really, really bright. And it, again, a lot of wires, a lot of desk space. So I went back down to a single 4K monitor to try that out. I found out, okay, that's a little, actually a little bit more usable and better. It, it actually felt like a relief to, to do that. And then I decided to simplify, really simplify, and I didn't have any monitor. I just had my laptop and just and just used it on a desk uh, to get used to that. And that felt good, but I did feel like I needed more. Like I needed a little bit bigger and I needed dual screen. So finally, finally, we take the story up to present day. I can't believe I spent like seven minutes talking about monitors. But where I got this, the, the, the one that you can check out that review I did, which I have now, is this LG, LG, LG ultra wide display. And I love it. And it's slightly curved, like I said. And because what it is, is it's basically dual monitors, dual high resolution monitors. It's just the right size, right? I think it's what, is this a 32 or 34 inch? Anyway, it's just the right size. That slight curve is perfect. It fits on the desk nicely. It's just a single monitor and I can split it down the middle and it's like having dual screen except no line down the middle, no big clunky you know, interruption like when you have two real physical monitors. So 
All that is to say this, essentially what I think is ideal, what I think is optimal, what I found so far is to have one single ultra wide display. I think that's better than 4K. I think it's better than having four monitors or six monitors. I think it's better than dual screen 4K. To me, this feels, I feel like this is the optimum because I'm utilizing all of the real estate. It's the right DPI and resolution for me to be able to see it at the highest setting and not have to squint and not for, and it's not too big. And I'm able to use all of that space and that slight curve really does, does help. And, and like I said, it's simple, it's clean, it feels elegant. There's not a whole lot of wires on my desk and I can put it on a single monitor arm and adjust it around. And that is pretty much where I sit on monitors. Now, I'll talk real quick about the future <laughs> and what I think about this. So that's my recommendation, that's what I like. Again, you can check out the review I did on the exact monitor that I have. You know, I can't even imagine upgrading in the future with, except for what I'm gonna to talk to you about right now. What is probably ideal, which is coming, is something like HoloLens to put on glasses or to have something projected onto your retina or contacts or something that gives you, that simulates the entire field of view of, of, of your vision and gives you a very high resolution display where you don't even have to have an actual physical monitor on the desk. That was is what I feel like the future of, of the standard desktop interface will be. I think that we're still gonna have monitors for a long time even when we have that, but we're gonna bring around po portable computers that are basically double as our phones. Uh, if you think about what, the, if you've seen the Nintendo Wii Switch, that concept is what our computers are gonna be. We're gonna be able to just plug it into monitors, except we're gonna have the HoloLens capability as well. We can just hook it up to different displays. That's what I think will happen. But anyway, that's, uh, that's not really the topic of this video. I wanted to talk about monitors and that's my thoughts on it. So anyway, I welcome your thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. I, I honestly think that using two screens, dual monitor setup is ideal, and that's what an ultra wide essentially does, except it doesn't have a split down the middle. So that's why I recommend it, and I find like that's the most efficient thing, and you can't really benefit from having a third. you know. And, and really, you could d divide an ultra wide into three if you found that you needed like three sections but I find two is typically, you're typically going back and forth between two things and having the extra things doesn't benefit you having extra monitors. Like I said, I've had up to six, I've had an array of four, eh, I, I'll stick with the ultra wide for now until something better comes along, but I, I honestly can't think of, what the only thing that would be better would be higher resolution. We'd, okay, so the only thing that would be better monitor wise, which I'll, t I'll take this upgrade, is an ultra wide that has double the resolution because it has double the DPI. Same exact size, same exact form factor, but essentially retina display as, a, as an ultra wide. I'll take that, that upgrade sounds good to me. But other than that, I think I'm pretty happy. I like it, so. Anyway, uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and click that subscribe button because you know, it, like you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna miss me doing videos talking about monitors for like 10 minutes? I don't think so. You wanna subscribe, all right? I'll talk to you next time. Take care.